Bleh. <laughs> From my personal listening perspective, the, I, the way I take fear lyrics when I listen to fear songs, and I think that's one of the things that fear is known for as much as the music, the lyrics are incredibly biting in some cases in a good way. Uh, as well as there's like a, a sarcasm, tongue in cheek. It's like a maybe even like a cynicism or like a, a sardonic perspective, world viewpoint. Um, what was your approach when writing those lyrics? Did you take? Did you draw from a lot of your personal world experience, your your whatever, just life experience when you're when you're coming up with lyrics and stuff for your songs? Uh, yes both uh, out of politics and the, and the laws that are, everyone has to uh, pay attention to. And uh, yeah, it was, it was refreshing in that way that it was not the same thing being said and, uh, and, uh, and used to denote what your what what your uh, expectation of history is and of things that you need to do now in order to succeed and in order to popularize what you're doing and in as much as it's very different than uh, than the, the standard things of standard origin did um the song without getting into uh, current topics, of course, but from a more historical perspective, the song, Let's Have a War, is that like, does that come from, you know, witnessing the Vietnam War or uh, any other war yes, in particular? Uh, 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 bit witnessing all wars and that it's, it's a way to be, avoided toward settling problems, not pursued. It, it wants to be overcome as necessary. I think it's one of the great, I think it's like one of the great songs about war period in, in music, like straight up. Like you have a lot of, thank you. What's what you're very welcome. What's interesting is you have a lot of songs that are, you know, like for instance, on the flip side, you have John Lennon singing about like uh, all we are saying is give peace a chance or you have, you know, the song war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. These very these messages are so upfront on the nose. And then you look at a song like Let's Have a War, which is exactly which is what you just said is exactly there. The idea of like this is how to not have a war or uh, a way of 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 of. Um, you know, uh, not preaching. Preaching is not the word I want to use. The way of um, just spreading this uh, this anti-war message, but it's done so subversively. It's so subversively. It's it's going a completely against the grain, and coming from everything from like a really cynical perspective, or you know, just sort of like a sardonic um, perspective. And I just think that's really great. I wish more writing was like that. You know. Thank you. So 